Hi everyone, my name is Martinas and today I'm continuing my video series about Pixelmator Pro and today I'm going to look uh, over a new function which is video editing. Let's dive in and see what Pixelmator Pro photo editing app can do with videos. This is a 4K video file from DJI Phantom 4 Pro. It was shot in Cine D like thus it's, it lacks some colors and contrast and we can improve it using Pixelmator Pro built-in tools. What's interesting, even though this is a video file, the whole menu available tools are the same that you use for photo editing. The only thing that changed is this section. There is a play button, mute button, and also uh, there is a scrubbing tool, timeline, so we'd say. So you can see I can scrub the video. It's not very smooth. I don't know whether it's related to uh, have a file, 4K file, or is it that my Intel iMac is not that powerful anymore? But still, you can do some scrubbing without without a lot of issues. It's not just move. So here we can trim a video and play this section and export it. Right. Also, what we can do is uh, enhance the colors. So I will use automated tool and see what, what it does uh, to the video. It applied some adjustments, but I don't really like them. So I will go back. So I will create a new layer and apply my own adjustments. So here it's what it looks before and now it's after the adjustments. Let's go back to playback and see how it performs in general. The playback is really, really smooth. You can see it's a lot smoother than my flying skills. Uh, this is my unsuccessful try with the drone. Uh, luckily, nothing really bad happened. What you can do more is add some text effects. So here is the effect. You can change the opacity. You can add a mask. You can also add some more words. And uh, as you can see, it plays in the real time, and that's quite impressive, I would say. What you can add more is a gradient adjustment. And you can see the effect is there. We can add effects layer. Let's see what we can add here. So we have rather weird stock effects. And what impresses me that how smoothly it plays, it's still, I mean, it's quite a heavy effect and you can see it plays really, really well. Let's add a square. And let's add another video on top. So here you can see original video with the effects uh, at the edit and also a 4K video on top. And it's playing really, really smoothly. That's quite incredible and it's impressive achievement by Pixelmator Pro, definitely. It's one of the smoothest playback uh, out there. Really impressed. Okay, let's see what else Pixelmator Pro offers in stock form. So let's get a new document. Mm -hmm. There are dedicated templates. So here is a template and here is how it looks like with my video. You can adjust and rename it and uh, change the names. And play back again. Now my final test would be to add even more videos to see how it goes with it. Here you can see Pixelmeter Pro playing call videos. And you can see some um, slowing down, but it's still nowhere near as bad as it would be. Uh, I am playing three 4K videos and it, it's doing well. Also, uh, I can zoom into video and you can see it's still playing super smoothly, no problems here. It's just incredible. I can really can't imagine this, doing this with another program. Uh, what, what else is impressive that I can crop video that easily and even export it into GIF file. So here you can see 15 FPS GIF file and it's easy to make 
from any video, any time, and export it just in seconds. By no means you can export this video into a casual format, so that would be MP4, QuickTime. Also, you can export JPEG or PNG uh, file, and uh, we have it have it ready just in in a couple of seconds. So my conclusion would be it's a very very good start for Pixelmator Pro and definitely one of the most interesting feature that could happen in photo editing software. Uh, I don't think there are lots of any other programs, if any, that would support the video. And it's just a start for Pixelmator Pro. Hopefully they will add uh, more features like having few clips uh, in a row on a timeline where you could combine them and export as a one movie or um, add keyframing or maybe some animated uh, templates uh, and else. It's a great, great start and I hope that Pixelmeter Pro definitely will add more features to this great idea to bring a video to the program. So, thank you and I hope to see you next time.